What have you been doing to stay healthy and just have fun inside your house? Um, you know, I think TikTok has really been kind of my <laughs> mental health outlet at this point. Um, you know, growing up, dance always was that mental outlet for me. So it's been nice to kind of revisit it. And I love that it's been um, so fun and organic. For sure. And of course, I grew up like watching you in High School Musical, and now you're doing TikTok. What made you want to get into the platform and start using it? Um, well, <laughs> I was teaching master classes at the time um, before quarantine, and a lot of my students are, you know, teenage girls, and they were like, Casey, you've got to do this TikTok with us, like learn it. And I was like, okay, hey, wait, what? Like, tell me everything. <laughs> so um, we did like one or two TikToks in the studio. Mm -hmm. And um, I just caught the bug. I was like, oh, this is fun, dude. And then, of course, when you start scrolling through, like, there's so, there's such great content and just, like, yeah. hilarious stuff. It doesn't have to be dancing. So, yeah, I think it just, I caught the bug, man. <laughs> and you came up on my For You page, and I was like, wow, like, that's crazy to see you doing TikTok and dances. Were you always a dancer growing up? I was. So I actually started dancing when I was two years old. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, my, uh, my older sisters took dance in the dance studio and my mom worked as the secretary at the dance studio. So really I <laughs> exactly. And I remember being a little girl and no joke, like sleeping in the lobby. <laughs> and I remember falling asleep to like the sound of all like the tap shoes and like oh, the wow. beats of the music. So I think it was just like bred into me. <laughs> definitely, definitely in your blood now. What kind of dances do you spe like? Do you specialize in? Uh, tap, jazz, ballet, hip hop, contemporary, oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it all. The only thing that I did not do that I would love to do is I did not really train in ballroom. Oh, so wow. that would be like a whole new world for me. A lot of TikToks. When did you start realizing that like your videos were getting a lot of traction? Like what was the video that you noticed? got a lot of views or likes. So actually the very first video that I like ever posted mm -hmm. um, was like a country line dance and I was doing it for like a neighborhood block party and it it went viral immediately. Wow. Awesome. I was like oh okay like maybe <laughs> maybe I need to do this but like I said I just kind of like waited on it and then when I did I think it was either the second or third dance with some of my students it just you know, blew up, had great numbers. And I thought, mm -hmm. okay, I think I found my platform. Like, yeah. I feel like I love Instagram very much, but Instagram to me is all about like putting your perfect self forward. And I agree, you know what I mean? Perfect and pretty pictures. And this is my perfect life. And I feel like with TikTok, it's been completely opposite where it's like, mm -hmm. no, you get to be like, silly and be yourself and quirky and that's really where I feel like I'm the most happy and natural <laughs> so it just it just seems to to work for me and I also have been like really impressed with the TikTok community mm -hmm. I don't know about you and I don't know if you feel this way but with Instagram I feel like people are like these are my followers and I'm not gonna help anyone and I worked hard and had pretty pictures taken and you know what I mean? And I feel like with TikTok, like immediately when I jumped on, like, like Charlie D'Amelio was like so sweet and like messaged me and was like, I was like, welcome. And I've had people with, you know, 12 million followers being like, let's collab, like just awesome and open and everyone's willing to collab. And I, I love that because that's very nice. Yeah. If you know anything about me, I am all about I'm all about like helping others along their journey. Definitely. So I feel like it's, it's my vibe. For sure. And you mentioned you collaborated with Charlie. What other, have you collaborated with any other TikTokers or? Influencers? So, yeah. So I have a few, um, the Sharp Family Singers. They are absolutely incredible. Yeah, the parents like were, that. yeah, the parents were like some of the original um, Broadway stars in Les Mis. Mm-hmm. And so I collabed with them. That was super fun. Um, collabed, well, I guess I can't say it yet because it's <laughs> out yet. But yeah, a lot of people saw my recent one with like, you know, Cassidy Condi and Willy Wonka and all of these like random heroes. And it was just, you know, like we have so much talent in Utah. And I thought, 
what a great idea to pull everyone together and do something fun, but also do something really responsible sure. and have us all wear masks and show like, look, it's cool to wear a mask. It's, it's a kind thing to wear a mask. So definitely. So that's, so that's why we did it. <laughs> it's so good you're using your platform for like change and to show people to wear masks and everything like that during this time too. And I saw the TikTok you were talking about with the Willy Wonka and you're at East High. Do you go back to East High a lot to film TikToks or visit? So that was my first time doing a TikTok there, but I did do a YouTube um, with Monique when she was in town for Sundance. I, I love Mo so much, and throughout the high school musical process, we have stayed really close. So one year she came for Sundance, and I was like, dude, Mo, we both have not been back to East High. Like, <laughs> let's go back. And so we just kind of were like roaming the halls and that immediately blew up when we posted it too and went viral. So, um, which I definitely want to do more of like the mm -hmm. YouTube thing. I definitely have not focused on that and kind of put a lot of eggs in the TikTok basket during quarantine, but I do think I'm going to start posting a lot of stuff on YouTube as well. For sure. That sounds like a great plan. Definitely sticking with TikTok. You seem to have found your niche in doing that too. But what was like going through your head when you went to East High again as more of like a fan or just a regular person platform as opposed to being an actor in the film? It's such a, it's such a strange thing. It's very like nostalgic for us when we walk through it because like so much of our young years, you know, mm -hmm. and our development happened within those halls. So um, even like the smell when we walked in, we were like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Um, but I love, I love how East High has been really sweet about like, there's still Sharpay's Locker up and things oh, like that. Cool. They're open to people doing tours, um, which I think is really, really cool, really respectful. But yeah, I definitely say like a lot of nostalgia for us. Definitely, it's on my bucket list to do a tour of East High, it's on. You got list. it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know you appeared on High School Musical, the musical, the series for like a quick appearance. What was it like getting to be a part of the franchise again? That was really, really crazy for me because once again, like I walked in and I had like this nostalgia of like, oh my gosh, I'm filming today mm -hmm. on this set. But then it was like all these new characters and all this new energy. And um, honestly, I was a little afraid that it was going to feel so different and and almost be like a sad thing for me but after meeting the cast they are so wonderful and so warm and they were so cute and they're just like oh my gosh you're an icon i can't believe you're here <laughs> um so yeah it was a really really cool experience and i absolutely uh i love i love tim who is one of the new producers like he brings so much love to that set mm -hmm. so yeah it was it was a really cool experience that's great. And you mentioned you got to meet the cast. Did you give them any advice or tell them any like for, like wise words or anything like that? Absolutely. I think, you know, I think the thing about High School Musical that made it so magical mm -hmm. was that um, we were all so different. Every single one of those characters is very unique and typically would not, you know, if you're in a high school setting, they wouldn't be friends. The jocks wouldn't be friends with the brainiacs and things like that. And I think what made High School Musical so magical is the fact that you could feel that even though we knew we were so different, we loved each other. Mm -hmm. And we celebrated our differences and we celebrated each other. And I think that's honestly why the fans took to it so well. And so I just told them, it is so important for you guys to love each other. It will read on camera. Um, the fans will feel it and, and they will want more and more and more. Um, so yeah, and I think they're doing a good job with that. I agree with that. Have you been able to like watch the series yet or see the part that you were in of the episode? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. And you know, it wasn't originally planned when we shot that for me to do like the trademark pop and lock in it. <laughs> and um, so yeah, it was kind of kind of wild to see myself do that That's again. Just in like a, an older form and an older body. How often do fans like recognize you and ask you to do like your signature, like like dance and things like that? Does it still happen? <laughs> that is that is the number one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you know, obviously pre quarantine, but no. Anytime I'm in a grocery store, anytime I'm at a store or anything like that, like most of the time, 
um, I will get recognized. And it's so funny because most of the time it's like the kids will recognize me, which surprises me. I kind of thought like once the generation that was, you know, obsessed with it grew up, it would be gone. And I'm so grateful it's become a classic and like a whole new generation is watching it. But um, most of the time it's the kids and they'll be like pulling on their parents like shirt or, and they're like, oh, mom, it is her. And the mom's like, no, it's not. She wouldn't be at Target. No. And so I always feel kind of bad because I want to like look at the kids and be like, now you're right. <laughs> so, so yeah, but I love it. And I know there's some people that, you know, some actors that don't appreciate it, but I, I love it. And so if ever any of my fans see me and hopefully we're out and about in life again someday like I would much rather have you come up to me and like get a good picture versus like (laughs) if I'm eating a big chunk of salad and it's you know just come over I would love to take a picture with you (laughs) and I know you also make some cameos how did you start doing that and what has that experience been like for you yeah so I actually ran into um one of the owners of cameo at the Sundance Film Festival and they were like you really got to try this. Um, and so I thought, what a great way to like connect with my fans. Um, I always just love connecting with my fans. So For sure. I decided great. And it has blown up also into this great thing. And I get to do shout outs for birthdays and anniversaries and graduations. So yeah, yeah if you guys need anything, just come on over and visit me at Cameo. <laughs> That's fantastic. And you mentioned that a lot of kid fans tend to recognize you typically. Do you have children of your own? And if so, have you shown them your work in the film? I do. I do have, I have two girls. So two oh. kiddos. And Zeta um, is seven years old and Letty is four. Mm-hmm. And it's funny how like Zeta just has accepted that it's completely normal. Like, because she grew up her whole life with, you know, parents, kiddos, everyone stopping me at grocery stores. And she's just like, yeah, that's my mom, whatever. And, um, but yet like never really wanted to like get into watching the movies. Oh, wow. Um, but Letty, my four-year-old is like, whoa, that's mom on TV. (laughs) And like wants, and is starting to want to watch them now. So I think that'll be fun. I think I'm going to, you know, try again to, to introduce them to it. But I'll be honest, most of the time, it's my husband who's trying to like, come on guys, walk, let's sit down and watch mom. Like, mom's so cool. And I'm like, ah, it's no, no big deal. But it's really great after all these years, like even my younger cousins, I'm 20 years old and they still love the films and it's nice to see them watch it and be obsessed with it as much as I was growing up. Isn't that funny? I actually got a message the other day um, through TikTok where someone was laughing at the fact that their little like niece sat them down and was like, you've got to watch this new show. It's amazing. <laughs> and the girl's like, oh, honey. <laughs> the aunt's like, oh, honey, I know this show. It is my favorite show. So I think it's so cool that it's like, you know, cross-generational. Definitely. I agree with you. And are you working on anything else at the moment you can share with your fans or want to tell anyone? Well, we are starting some merch, so (laughs) some very special Martha merch, and um, yeah, like I have a few things in the work, but of course, with quarantine and things like that, the acting industry has been Mm kind of shut down, so we're just, we're hanging low, we're getting through this. Um, I've really started to love choreographing again, that's, like I said, was one of my outlets, and um judging dance competitions and doing conventions and things like that so pre-quarantine that was kind of starting Mm -hmm. to become like you know a big thing and now we're just kind of holding off well hopefully everything will pick up back soon and lastly where can fans follow you on social media like what are your handles or platforms you're on all right so on youtube i believe it's just casey stroh um on instagram it is case stro so it's just if you take the two e's off of my first name and just go with my nickname case then it's case stro so instagram and tiktok is case stro um twitter is casey stro and youtube is casey stro i think that's all of it <laughs> for now who knows what other social media platforms you guys are going to throw at me that i have to get <laughs> 